What's up YouTube? Fired up people. Slim Tim here again for you and not a good fired up way. It is 90 degrees outside and let me tell you a little story. Due to the storms that came out of Oklahoma and once once again my heart goes out to everybody of Oklahoma. I already found all my Facebook friends and I'm glad everybody's okay on that. They came across Alabama pouring a lot of rain and my city here in Alabama got dumped with seven inches of rain overnight plus the following rain the next day of maybe I don't know probably about another inch or two so my basement flooded when I got home is when I found that you've seen that video on firedupfishtanks.neen.com then the following Sunday after Friday like it couldn't get worse my AC unit burns out, burned out, along with everybody else in the southeastern states of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, uh, parts of Tennessee, and South Carolina. And we've been declared as a natural catastrophe, and it's not as bad as that sounds. It's just a lot of people's got AC units that, that's been flooded, knocked out by trees, or something of that d degree, causing, you know, just widespread out outages of comfortability, I guess, of homeowners and renters and apartments complex and you you get the legits of where I'm going with that they can't come out and see my place until about Friday and I'm trying to push the envelope I've already called them saying I got you know aquarium set up I got a toddler and a wife I'm more concerned about over myself so let's see if we can get that pushed but let's go ahead and discuss how we can keep your tank cooler depending on if you are whether or not without AC or you're trying to be energy efficient and keep your thermostat around 78 like I said, I try to keep all my tanks around 80 degrees, especially my shrimp tank, because that's the only way they'll breed. But everybody else can, you know, is tolerant of that. If you know, as long as it don't go too much higher than like 81, 82, they don't want that. That's when I start getting problems. So, the first thing is don't turn your lights on your tanks until about after five o'clock, because the heat of the heat of the day is between one to six o'clock, depending on your time zone and how far south you live. Also, too, which I've already done it, I've I'm, I'm unplugged my heaters, which usually about the last week of May is when I unplug them because, you know, it gets hot during the day and it's cool at night and and it only drops down to, probably about to about 74, I have to say, overnights, and that's usually when the heaters will cut off, but, it, you know, just the outside tank temps are really warm, so, you know, it's kind of good just to help it not be as hot all the time and you know you can save more money on your energy bill so lights heater now another good way is like they said on the TV and radio and internet is to install a ceiling fan I got one in my bedrooms and one out here in my living room which you know they say it helps keep, make the room probably about two or three degrees cooler which with a burnt out AC unit, I can't tell. So, I got another fan here on the floor, pardon the jump. And once again, they mentioned to keep your drapes and blinds closed on the southwestern part of your house. Because once again, the heat, heat of the day, you know, you bulk out more heat that way. Which I got that one drape pulled aside for some light so you can see. So, let's go see the other tanks. Oh, and an added bonus for my house, being built back in the 60s, they installed an industrial air unit with turbines in my roof. So I got that turned on is why you can hear a lot of noise and probably myself being faded out a little bit. But got a therm thermometer here in my pot part of the house, as I like to call it. And you see that? Humidity. Temperature hot in here so here's the 30 gallon once again the lights ain't coming on until five o'clock and I'm gonna have to wait later on today to my water changes could due to the fact the tap is coming out hot as well so got another fan right there circulating air in here along with uh, the windows being open because you're sucking air out 
No, now you, can, now you can hear me. You're sucking air out of the house. And once again, I got another window cracked with a ceiling fan. Drawing air into the house. And once again, that brings allergens. So all of us allergy sufferers get to suffer worse. So here we are in my bedroom, the master bedroom. <clears throat> and I got the window in the open and the blinds closed. And the air is being drawn around my shrimp tank. So I still got the heater turned on this tank just to keep it from not shifting too too much, like I said in that WNS. Go check it out. Strip tips. Going back down into the living room. There's my DVD collection. Aha. Uh -huh. About 700 of them. Before Netflix. <laughs> so, this is where I sit is my bedded tank next to me where I can watch him. Along with the 55 and the 30 where I sit on my master chair and here's like I said here's the bed of tank which there's no heater on this tank so I gotta keep an eye on this tank as well with it being a small volume of water it can heat up a little bit quicker to room temperature so I'm having to keep an eye on him he's doing okay I got the air stone in there cuz you know they like stagnant water but I still like water movement in my tank alright alright people I'm turning off the industrial fan for a few minutes for just for y'all and turn on the overhead light just for y'all to look at my DIY stand since I ain't got nothing else better to look at I guess right now. And once again I hope this video has been helpful to everybody. Let's get this WNS started off shall we? This morning Josh Lock. Appreciate that. We got Jim Norton. Appreciate you checking out my videos leaving comments he's uh i believe gone all the way back to my diy stand so fired up shout out to you man jim norman we got two new users go soul fish tank andrew gallo eric fan 1223 glisty misty Techno Kid Millionaire. This whisperer. We're going to wrap it up. So, once again, appreciate everybody tuning in, checking out my videos. I hope they've been helpful. Like I said, once again, I'm glad to inspire, glad to be helping, and I'm glad everybody's tuning in for my journey of the fish tank hobby. So keep hitting the like button, leave your comments down below, welcome new subscribers every weekend. And also, come check us out at firedupfishtanks.ning.com. What are you waiting for? We got things coming, man. Things coming. See you in the chat!